Good morning. This is Cecil and Blues. Thank you for joining me for this extremely short Final Fantasy XIV video. FanFest starts in just a few hours, and I have a ticket, so I'll be there. If I don't sound too excited by that, it's for a few reasons. First, I live here in Vegas, and the absolutely last place I ever want to go, that any local ever wants to go, is the Strip. It's crowded, the traffic in and out is a pile of garbage, everything is expensive, it's just, it's the worst. Second, I play Final Fantasy with a pretty small subset of my friends. At the beginning of the year, they were all expressing interest in attending FanFest. But by the time ticket sales came around, everyone's plans had changed. So I'm going alone. Without a group of friends to be excited with, the magic of a convention dissolves a bit. Third, I'm way behind in Final Fantasy XIV. I only downloaded Patch 3.4 yesterday. I've played through only the first three quest lines in the main story. I have not run Google Library Hard. I have not run Alexander the Creator. I haven't done any of the side story stuff or explored any of the other new features that were added in 3.4. Heck, I hadn't finished exploring all the features that were added in 3.3. I didn't even finish the Yokai Watch event. Alright, that was by choice. I had enough time to do that, if I really cared about it. Being outside of that daily loop of playing an MMO has pulled me off the hype train a bit. I'm not waiting with bated breath for the next bit of content to devour because I've still got stuff to finish from before. All of this aside, this is a big year for Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy comes out in a week, Final Fantasy XV probably comes out next month, and Final Fantasy XIV had a ton of success in the early part of the year with Heaven's Ward. This should be a grand celebration. It's going to be a fun party. I'm going to shove my social anxieties down into a little corner of my soul and spend the next two days walking among the crowds of people that are all Final Fantasy fans and learning new things about Final Fantasy and then almost certainly driving straight home afterwards. On Sunday, I will post up a video recapping the event. I'm going to spend the rest of my morning trying to drill through more of the main story. I have no intention of piling up in the hype line uh, outside the convention hall. I'll show up at the Paris at a quarter to eleven and waltz in the main doors past any lines because there's not, or what, not past any lines, but after the line has already filed into the convention hall, I'm going to wander in, casually locate a seat that has a good view of a, uh, a, what, what, a closed circuit TV uh, that will be Hopefully broadcasting. I haven't attended a fan fest before. I'm basing part of my experience off of my BlizzCon experiences, so this could just completely backfire, and I could just be at the back of a room looking at a tiny postage stamp that uh, is uh, that, and, and only getting an audio experience. So I'll uh, I'll make sure to uh, reflect on the success of my strategy here. But as I said, I'm alone. I have no intention of standing in long lines and accomplishing nothing. I have no one to talk to. I what? I'd sit on my phone? Read Twitter? Oh, oh goodness. Well, the one advantage to the Strip, above other convention situations I've been in, is the Strip is designed to handle the traffic of thousands of people. Us Final Fantasy fans, there in our convention, we are the minority. So we should, I should have no problems operating an internet connection. That's probably the one advantage to the strip. I have gotten way off track and way off script. So I will just conclude by saying if you are going to be at FanFest and you want to meet me, I would be more than happy to say hello. I'm alone. I've got no other plans. Drop me a line on Twitter, at its boats, and we'll work something out. Uh, and... I will touch base with everyone on the channel again on Sunday and let you know how the event went and we will talk about any announcements that happened. I'm not expecting anything huge. Uh, we are the American Fan Fest. Uh, I, I do not doubt that they respect our subscriptions and recognize us as a valuable member of their community, but I think the big announcements are going to come during the Japanese Fan Festival 
not only uh, because that is the core group of fans, and and they deserve that. Like they're nationalists. They're, you know, they're, I don't want to say it like that. That, that sounds rude. Uh, it, they it's a national pride thing, right? Like you know, if you're gonna announce something awesome about The Witcher, uh, you'd probably do it at Gamescom because it's your local convention. So if they're gonna announce the next expansion, etc., I expect it to come at the Japanese Fan Fest. I think we might get some stuff, maybe a, a little bit of hints, but I don't think we're going to see any big announcements. We're not going to see any big, like, uh, cinemas, or uh, maybe we might get hints or even a full class reveal. I don't know. Again, uh, that's all for now. Thank you so much for tuning in for this short video, and... Uh, if I timed it out right, hopefully I didn't have to show anything outside of dinner from the uh, main story. Did anyone else uh, with me thinking that maybe that was the entire patch, just eating dinner? Alright, have a good day. From tragedy and sacrifice... We rise to greet a new dawn, as did she. Only to be drawn onto another battlefield, another cause, as if by fate.